Welcome back to this Lenten devotional series based on Mark's Gospel. For day five, we'll read more in Mark 9, starting at verse 20. And they brought the boy to him, and when the Spirit saw him, immediately convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into fire and into water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe. Help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Back to reality. So we say when we return from a mountaintop experience. Mountaintops are wonderful. But since we live mostly in the back to reality valleys, we wonder how does Jesus save there? Jesus faced the reality of a dad with a son in great need and disciples who had not been able to help, which was frustrating for them because the Lord had used them previously to heal the sick and deliver the demonized. Check out chapter 6. But for whatever reasons, this time they had not been able to help. This story has many facets worthy of meditation. Here are two. First, Jesus uses us as he advances his kingdom, but he has other options. And that's very good news since sometimes we're quite effective and other times not. He can use other servants or, like he does here, he can minister directly. And thankfully, our mixed results don't cause him to abandon us. He still sends us to minister. So take heart. And secondly, the presence of Jesus redefines what's possible. Since the disciples hadn't been able to help, the boy's dad was clearly discouraged. So when Jesus came, the best the dad could offer was, and if you're able to help, please do. And Jesus' sharp response pointed to how his very presence totally redefines what's possible. What do you mean, if you are able? All things are possible as you believe. And Jesus delivered the boy from the tormenting demonic presence, and he was healed of his seizures. In our own lives, we often don't understand the Lord's ways and timing, but the point still stands. Jesus changes what's possible. We're living in a back-to-reality world this Lenten season, but it's a world whose possibilities have changed because Jesus has come, and he's ready to use us some more. Here are a couple of questions to ponder as you look back over these verses. In this Lenten season, what harsh realities are before you in the world and in your own life? What does the world say is possible to resolve these problems? And what do you expect Jesus to do as you pray? What particular needs have you engaged only to see nothing change? How has Jesus helped your unbelief become a more full belief? God bless you.